I want to talk with you about a prophecy, my brothers and sisters. One of the great prophecies in the book of Deuteronomy that God would send Israel another prophet like Moses. This is number 25 out of 117 scriptures that everybody should know. This is extremely important because the New Testament writers constantly refer back to Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 15 through 19. So let's first go to Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 15 and 19, and then I'm going to explain to you why it's so important. And so, in the book of Deuteronomy, he, Moses is preparing Israel to enter into the promised land. He talks about the priests, he talks about the kings, and so when he gets to chapter 18, if you go to verse 15, he says this, he says, the Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among you, from your brethren, him you shall heed, just as you desired of the Lord your God at Horeb on the day of the assembly when you said, let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God or see the great fire any more, lest I die. And the Lord said to me, they have rightly said all that they have spoken. I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their brethren, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I command him. And whoever will not give heed to my words, which he shall speak in my name, I myself will require it of him. Now, let me explain to you why this prophecy is important. Moses talks about a prophet that's going to be like him, but greater, who will speak the word of God that all people would be required to listen to. Well, who is this prophet like Moses, but greater? It's Jesus. How do we know it's Jesus? Because Jesus makes a new covenant with the people of Israel. Just as Moses was the one who was the mediator of the Sinai covenant, so when Christ comes, he establishes a new and eternal covenant. That's one of the definitive signs that he's the prophet like Moses. So the writers of the New Testament constantly play on, play on this idea and the question comes up over and over again if Jesus is the prophet. And it all goes back to this promise in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 15 to 19, that God promised Israel a prophet like Moses, but greater than Moses. And this promise is fulfilled in Christ our Lord. And therefore, my brothers and sisters, look what he says. Every person must listen to him. May you listen to him. May you follow him. May you believe and may you serve him. God bless you.